just give me a second to find my presentation here. Okay. Okay. Here I am. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, can you see everything? Recording right? in progress. Okay, good. It's my honor to hold this uh, feature presentation here at GPT. That's my first time to do this. Thank you very much. Again, a little bit about myself. Okay, I'm a father and I'm 42 years old. I have two beasts, uh, a nine year old son and a dog. And as you can see, both like playing games together. So the mission of one is to become a bodyguard and guess which one is that okay at the end of the presentation you can tell me okay so i've been in the private security industry for 20 years and during this period i lived and worked in five different countries for more than seven years okay and now i would like to show you a short introduction introduction about uh, my company can you hear it no you can't can you? No, no. No. Okay. Then I'm going to send you this video in the chat. Okay. So just let's, let's go from here. Good. Since I told you I lived in many different countries and traveled to many more, I think traveling is the most wonderful thing in the world. And meeting different people and learning different cultures and languages are very exciting and fun but sometimes it carries some risks as well, especially as you can see now in Germany and Belgium and what's happening now in uh, South Africa. And even now the Etna is uh, erupting now in Italy. So uh, these are worth to consider when you travel. So I want to teach you now how to assess certain risks before you travel. Okay. And the way how you can do the, the this is a simplified way how you can do it is to measure the probability and the impact of those risks. Okay, the first category uh, is when the event is highly likely to happen and its impact is also great. Okay, and for now just mark these types of risks with red. Okay, and moving forward, the opposite of this when the event is highly unlikely to happen. And even if it does, it doesn't have a high impact on us. Okay, and we can mark these types of risks with green. And going to the two others. Okay, the third one is when the likelihood is uh, small, but the impact is high. And you can see what kind of risks are there uh, on the pictures in the background. Okay, and the fourth category is when the likelihood is high, but the impact is low. Okay, now we have these four categories and okay, it's very nice, but what to do with them? Okay, so with the first one, when it's in the red, okay? So this is the most dangerous and the best we can do if we can just cancel the trip and don't go there. Okay, that's the safest thing to do. If you can't cancel the trip, then we have to take measures to increase the safety and security, for example, by hiring security personnel. Okay, with the events that fall into the green category with low probability and low impact, we can, we can accept it actually, and we can live with it or deal with it when it occurs. So it's, it's not a big deal. And with the low probability and high impact event, the best course of action is to transfer the risk to a third party, okay? And this is what insurance companies are for. So insurance agents are very good strategic partners for me. And with the high probability and low impact events, we can take steps to reduce the likelihood by applying security measures, okay? So now, you all are very good security managers, but let me tell you how we can help with all this, okay? And let's go from top to bottom. So, uh, for high-end clients, we provide executive cross protection and secure transportation services. 
So the typical client for this is a high net worth individual or a company executive. And for corporate clients, we provide security consulting and on-demand training that can be either online or offline. And for the wider students, we have online courses where they can learn how to enhance their own safety and security during their international journey, as well as what to do in certain emergency situations. Okay, I would like to draw your attention to two of our online courses. One is a travel security training that teaches how to prepare for and stay safe during your journey. And the other is a crisis management training, we call it urban survival training, that teaches what to do in certain emergency situations. Okay. In order to distribute our trainings to the customers, I'm looking for strategic partners such as travel agencies, tour operators, and insurance companies. Okay. Our success story in this regard is that we are currently negotiating with the largest tour operator in Qatar, thanks to Ayman, about how to implement our training programs into their system and make it available to the 180 travel agencies that use their system just in Qatar. So please refer me to the best tour operators in your country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation, Lajos. Recording stopped. Uh, I think everyone now uh, can get a better idea what's your RDL referral, and I encourage to do a one-to-ones with you.